In this simple tutorial, we will be making fan corals with plasticine. Plasticine clay is a soft clay that does not harden, so for stability in this sculpted element, we will make our giant fan coral like this example. Giant fan corals are a variety of coral composed of numerous polyps that grow together in a flat, fan-like pattern. Each polyp in the colony has eight tentacles and a central internal skeleton composed of a flexible scalar protein called gorgonin. Scalar protein is made up of several fibrous proteins made of cells and tissues. All the branches of the colony and the living tissues form a layer over its entire surface. The tissues are often colored in hues of red, yellow, or orange. Great. We are now moving to the high level. Um, you can see here as my example, um, I've got different corals that are a lot larger and taller. I even created this extra level here with cardboard. Um, all I did was create it with cardboard by taping it up with just regular tape and um, setting up my shelf over here and covering it with clay and the clay and the tape are all connected so it won't move and then it creates this like dynamic of larger to smaller. We're going to talk a little bit about the fan corals to start. I showed you already how to make a fan coral in medium level. We're going to do it again. Um, I'm going to show you a different way you can do it and I want to talk a little bit about how your edges look because you can have a rounded edge like this for your fan coral or you can have one that has grooves like that. Just to do a fan coral, I'm going to talk about the two different ways and I have two different um, sizes of clay and I'm just doing it in blue because you can see with the actual exemplar, I kind of picked a specific color palette and I'm staying consistent. It's got browns, it's got orange, white, and then the blue, light blue and a little bit darker blue. Okay, to begin, flatten out your clay piece and roll it with a glue stick. Use your cardstock paper to remove it from the mat and preserve the shape and overall thinness. I'm going to flatten out another smaller piece of clay. For this piece, I will use my original method of making holes using my bamboo skewer. While holding the flattened clay piece, make sure to make your holes different sizes so your piece does not look too uniform. Okay, so that would be how you would do that regular coral, and then when you place it, you're just deciding where it should go. There is a second way to do this fan coral. In this particular way, I showed you already that I rolled this larger piece out. I also removed it, and this is really important. So if you've rolled this out, it's got a pressure that you've put on it. You have to scoop it back up. Once it's like that again, you lay it back down and instead of holding it in your hand, you're now going to carve into the paper or the backing of your thing and then you're going to remove so there's not extra stuff to clean up and you're just going to put that off to the side. And begin removing different sized circular organic like shapes from within the coral fan. Take your time to smooth out rough edges between the cuts and removal of the clay. Now is your opportunity to actually scoop it up again. I would consider scooping it instead of just pulling it off because you don't want to wreck your, your stuff. Really carefully, like as if this is a spatula. That white paper really shows how my fan coral would look with the contrasting color behind it. Let's find a spot on my sculpture that this piece will work best in. I like the idea of having a fan coral coming around here. But wait, let's first put a bit of a scalloped edge around the top of my fan coral to create a bit of a unique visual appeal. Depending on your preferences, you may want to design a shape to your fan coral and use your cardstock paper to cleanly cut the shape out.
There you have it, a nice fan coral element to add to your overall sculpture. Of course, you may choose any color you think works best for your piece. Maybe even look up other fan coral images and design another type of this species with plasticine clay. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Check out my other coral elements based on the sculptural levels of low, medium and high and have fun creating. Thank you.